Hey guys, JLM's here. Just doing a uh, video on the new Samsung Gear 2 Neo. It's shown right here. Um, first off, I'd like to start off and say that this current trend of wearable tech, uh, you know, for example, smartwatches, uh, never caught my eye at first. It seemed to be more just of a uh, you know, a, a flash in the pan or, or something that just seems to be what's going on right now. For example, same thing as um, uh, curved displays for TVs. Um, to me, it seems just like it's just one of those things that's never going to really gain traction, but it seems to be what the current market is tr they're trying to push for. Um, same thing with this wearable tech here. Um, it when I, when when I'm when I first thought about it, like how useful could it be? Like how hard is it to not just grab your phone and use it when you when you need it? Because um, most of the time you have it in your pocket anyways, which is easy to get to. Um, but I'll be uh, I'll be talking about some of the features, uh, and then maybe that'll help you understand whether or not you would like to buy this device or not. Like I said, with, after some good use with this device, it made me think differently about these types of devices. And today I'll be going over a few of the, what I think is useful and neat features that the Samsung Gear 2 Neo has. We'll be talking about some of the positive and negatives, which are at least, sorry, one of the negatives is one of the major problems that I think anyone should consider before buying this device. Um, so we'll go with the good. Uh, the menu navigation. Um, I didn't think with a device this small, with you know, the amount of processing and RAM that it has, processing power and RAM, I didn't think it'd be very uh, good for navigation purposes. Uh, you know, you know, some of the older quality or older products that we've we've had or that I've I played around with usually the the touch isn't very accurate the menu system isn't very good while navigating um, or quick it'll be slow and choppy as you can see here you can see that I'm I'm just flipping through all the pages with ease pretty smooth um, going to the settings you know check out the clocks you know you can just get into anything swipe down if you need to go back um, Right. Uh, the menu is pretty easy to use, especially if you're familiar with using any of the most recent smartphones out there. Um, you know, it's just a page system like this, and then all your apps are there, and you can actually customize uh, where you want the apps, which is nice. Um, on what page? So if you want it right off, right off the the watch feature, which is the home page. Uh, so the first four right there are the four that I'll probably primarily use the most that's why I left it on that side and same with this other side here weather, exercise, pedometer and heart rate um, the customization on this is more than I thought I didn't think it'd be as as intricate or detailed as it is um, mind you it's not like our smartphones but for a watch like this it's pretty useful for example, I'm a, I'm a big watch collector. I love buying watches. I have that kind of a weird issue. Um, you know, and with this one, obviously, you can download or you can even get certain apps that actually let you customize your watch faces to whatever you want. Um, this one here, I can't remember who or what the where I got it from, but it was from the, the App Store. And uh, I got it because of a few reasons. So I'll just bring it in closer so you guys can see it there. Hopefully it... it uh, it uh, zooms in properly. It's not all weird, but uh, because I I like watches that will have the date, which is always something that you always need to look at or or know. Um, it also has the day. Uh, it has the time in analog and digital, which I like, because I like the look of analog, but I like the quickness of digital. <laughs> I know some people might think differently about how hard is it to to look at an analog clock, but. Um, I don't have a problem looking at it, it's just uh, I find it a lot easier and quicker to look at a digital clock. 
Uh, and then the main thing on the on the in the middle right hand side there, you can see the battery level. Now that's really useful, I think. Um, and uh, there's there's a few uh, watch, uh, watch faces that do have battery, but I like this one because uh, for one, like this battery will last. I don't know. So far through regular testing, I've had it for about. Uh, it'll last me about two to three days. Mind you, I've been using it a lot, playing around with it, so I'm using it more than the regular person would use it after knowing what, how it works and that. Um, and, you know, you, if you're not charging it every day, then, you know, you don't know. You don't want to start a day off in the morning, wake up, put on your watch, no, didn't notice it was 5% um, battery, and then have it die, you know, in the afternoon. Um, so that's really neat because it's always there. Um, and I, th I find that really cool and I'll just kind of go into the different clocks faces that I have. Uh, I've downloaded a few and I'll show you some of the ones that came with the, the Gear 2 Neo stock uh, like this. So you'll have your custom background whatever you wanted and then I'll have the time. Uh, this one will have the time and any, anything off your agenda or off your uh, schedule. This one has your pedometer which is kind of neat. This one I like a lot right here. Um, you can see that it has a time. You can directly go right into your uh, your your uh, messages app right off there, uh, pedometer, and then your your settings, which is really useful. Um, but it's also one of the negatives I'll, I'll mention later. Uh, this one's really cool too. I like this one because it has the time, and then it also has the weather. And then when you click on that, it's actually the weather app, and then you can get in and see what the what the forecast is like in that, which is really neat. Um, and this is a downloaded face that came with it, that came with it, that came with it, which is pretty ugly if you ask me. Uh, I downloaded this one, I downloaded this one, this one, I think they're all downloaded, this one. See, this one's pretty cool too. You can see, I don't know if you can see in the fine print on the top left, but it actually shows the CPU, CPU lo load and uh, how much free memory is on there, which is pretty good, but I don't like the basic look of it. It has the battery power on the top right, time, and then uh, date and, and day, which is pretty neat. Um, another watch, yeah. So this one I like a lot too. Just I like the look of it, but there's no date. It tells you the day and it tells you a.m., p.m., and time. And you can change the, the, the color to purple, blue, or this color. Um, and yeah, so it's it, it's really cool. I like I like the fact that you can change the face whenever you if you feel like something different. Go ahead. Why not? Um, the other thing with customization that you can do with this is uh, you can change the wallpapers. And these are some of the stock wallpapers that came with it, which are just pretty basic uh, backgrounds. And then you can actually download uh, whatever whatever kind of pictures you want in there. Your car, your kids, your bikes, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, you name it. And then use those as your background, which is really cool. The, that brings me to one little negative about it is that uh, you can change the the wallpaper but the problem with that is is that you can see that all the apps are in white and I wish that you can change this and maybe you can if, if anyone knows that you can change the app colors uh, please uh, comment in the below but uh, if it's white and then you have a white background you can't really it's hard to see those apps so that's just uh, one little thing you got to keep in mind so test message here. So yeah, so the 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 general menu navigation and customization of this watch is uh, really good. I I'm actually pleasantly surprised with what you can do with it. Um, now the other thing I want to talk about is how the usefulness of it. Um, like I said in in my prior thing here, uh, I thought you know like how useful could it be and in, in in actual normal use it's actually pretty useful I'm not gonna lie to you um, I drive a lot I spend probably about mm, two to three hours a day driving uh, and I do do a lot of biking mountain biking and and stuff like that and having this watch on your wrist while you're driving or biking is really useful I did not think it would be that useful but it is because you don't have to pull out the phone uh, take your eyes away from the road uh, you don't have to reach for stuff you just touch your phone uh, touch your um, touch your watch and do what you have to do and 
and then uh, away you go. And it, you know, it really, it really actually surprised me on how useful it could be. Um, the one thing I forgot to mention is, it, at the price that they're going for, about two to three hundred dollars, they're pretty, a bit steep. I got a really good deal on this watch, so that's why I'm not really complaining. But if at regular price, I wouldn't have bought these devices because I don't think it's worth the money yet. And mind you, these are fairly new, so maybe prices will come down in the future. But as for now, um, they're they're pretty pricey. It's just like a nice accessory to have if you can afford it. Um, the other thing that's I, th I found really good that I didn't expect it to be that good is the speaker quality. So while using the speakerphone, you can hear and they can hear you quite, quite clear. Uh, mind you, when you're using the speakerphone and you're trying to hear people talking through it, um, you can't be in the loudest of areas. Uh, like if you had your car window down and it's, and it's really windy outside, you might have some troubles hearing it. But if you're in a quiet room or in your car with the windows closed, it, it'll take, it, you can hear it just decently at, at maximum volume, of course. Um, and I even a tested and asked the people that, was, that I was talking to if they can hear me clearly. And they said, yeah, pretty much just as good as my, my Samsung Galaxy S4. Um, the other thing is uh, using the S voice. So I usually use that to send my text messages or make calls. Um, and I actually said you can have a double press like on other smartphones a double press of the home button here And it takes me directly to Siri. I don't think that's the, the stock uh, setting, but that's the one I set it to and It's uh, one of the quick easy things that you can get to the, rather than having to navigate while you're driving right and picking uh, S voice or, or text messaging I just I just double click on this and then boom get you there and it for the most part I would say it almost always uh, gets exactly what I need when I when I'm using S voice, um, I'm surprised on on the level of how well it works. I remember um, on my Apple S, uh, what is it, 4S, using Siri. It was at and of course that's you know it was fairly new at the time. It it, it would hesitate or miss things and, and things like this. But now on on this watch, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty accurate. It gets exactly what you need and what what you wanted, and and it, and it gets it going and, and done. Um, so I was really, really surprised with that, and also how quick uh, I was going to say Siri, how quickly S Voice works um, on the watch. It doesn't take a million years for it to understand what you just said. It, it kind of gets it, go, and then does it. Um, the other, the other, other thing that I, I was actually really surprised about with this watch is the comfortability. Now, um, like I wear a lot of watches. Um, let me see if I have one. Oh, yeah, I do. Here's one of my most favorite watches I have here. It's a Seiko, solar powered. It's metal band, um, and it's heavy. I mean, it's nice for me. I, I I like this this watch, but it's 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 really heavy. Like, if I had to compare the weight, it's probably five to six times heavier than the uh, Samsung watch here. Um, you know, and and of course you you, you have you come to expect that from from nice nicer. Uh, especially bigger watches um, but this watch here is very light very very light um, and the materials that they use now I, I, I can't remember what it was but it's like a composite uh, like rubber plasticky feel but it's very soft very comfortable there's nothing nothing really that, that kind of gets in your way or, or makes your wrist itchy or or leaves indents in your skin and I like the clasp too because it's a clean look, and you just snap it in and, and it holds. Um, yeah, so it's it's very comfortable and lightweight. And not to mention, I think it for for a smartwatch, it's pretty pretty nice looking. As you can see here, uh, pretty soon I'm going to be ordering a armor uh, tech armor, and it's going to have a carbon fiber kind of a cover on on all the edging here. And then a, a a cover for the for the main screen so it doesn't get scratched. I'll be wearing that pretty soon. I'll do a, a video on that. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty nice looking watch, and it's not overly big too. That's the main thing that that makes me uh, don't mind wearing it. Um, so with the bad, I have one major, 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 major gripe, and there isn't many bads when it comes to this watch. I think it's pretty damn good for what it is. Um, is the gear manager app software that it's an app software that you have to download onto your phone 
for it to able to communicate with this watch. Now, that brings me to another problem. The other problem with it is that this watch won't work pro at all without you installing that app software into your phone. So, you if you're coming in thinking you can buy this watch and um, use it without any phones or anything like that, and just because just you like the look and you want to get a watch face on there and, and away you go, it won't work. Uh, when I was installing this and I got it first got it, it had to, uh, mind you, I got this from someone else, so it had to actually re, uh, what was it, it had to reset, the device had to actually reset uh, for it in order to, uh, to re-download all the software into my phone. So what happened is, and I, I did it a few times because I, I had a lot of issues with the app software, and I'll show you in a moment more, but uh, the... The, the app needs to download from the watch, or sorry, it has to get drivers from the watch. Now, at the beginning of the, when you turn on the watch, it just says, please connect. There is no watch face, no nothing. It needs to connect to your phone and then send its drivers through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and, and then have the device connect. And then that way, then the watch gets downloaded and it, and it allows you to use it. Now, that's a main problem. I mean, that, that limits it quite a bit. So if there's issues, which there is with the software, because it wouldn't connect. It wouldn't connect to each other. And I'm assuming could, part of it was because the Samsung, my phone, did not have the necessary drivers. But that's kind of a, a problem, right, when you can't get the drivers in. It's a cycle. So, you know, I had to go online and check a lot of things. And a lot of people complaining about uh, the gear manager software. And I found that basically by tapping the connect button a million times, it took me a whole, whole evening almost basically to get it to work properly. And it's still not working properly, by the way, um, uh, to get it to work. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, check the list. There's a list of uh, devices that the Gear 2 watch will connect with properly. It's only Samsung. Uh, but there is tablets also involved and other phones. I think the Notes series are also included. Um, but yeah, enough about that. Like the Gear Manager app. Oh yeah, I should show you <laughs> enough of that. I have to show you the app on my phone. I'll show you exactly what the problems are. All right, so let's go find the app here. So Samsung Gear app. So right here is the main, oops, I was looking for other apps. All right, I think I'm already having issues settings, okay. Where are we here? Well, see, right now it's not even going back into the home screen. There we go, okay. So at the top here you see it's connected to the Gear 2, which I'm lucky it is right now. So, for example, I got one app that you can actually customize your own type of uh, watch faces. Well, I couldn't use any of those watch faces that I customized because when I, it tells you after you do that, you have to select it in, in the watch face uh, menu, okay, which is in the home screen styler menu here. So I press that, you can see, and then it comes back. Try it again. It just jumps right back. See, this is a huge issue. I can't use any of the things. Thankfully, when you actually download certain apps, like actual watch face apps from the App Store, it will automatically just transfer it onto your to your watch. So you can get those, but you can't use that certain app that I'm talking about. I forgot what it's called, um, but so that limits you with things. You can't pick certain things that ha that require you to use this software. Um, let's just go into my apps, okay? Same thing again. I can't, I can't get in. Well, S Health works, but the notifications doesn't. The home screen styler, my apps. Um, the only thing that works in here mostly is the Samsung Gear apps, which is the the page that you go to buy apps, which is convenient. Would you not say for Samsung to at least have that working so you can purchase things, but the rest of the stuff does not work. Oh, I might get this one. This one's not bad. I'll download that right now. See, so like I said, these kind of apps right here, 
you can you can download these and I'll put it onto your thing because it's just a it's just the the watch itself. But when it comes to customization, you need to use the gear to manage or the gear manager software. That's where the problems begin. I can't even try to pictures into my watch because generally you're supposed to use the the uh, manager software. But I found a workaround which is basically just plugging into your computer and letting that uh, letting that um, transfer that way. Okay, and the other the other issue I have, which is actually not really a big issue, it's just being nitpicky, is the battery life now. I know it's, it's a lot better than what it used to be. It used to be not even a day before. Um, this one, like I said, lasts about two to three days on regular or actually more extended use. Um, but still would be nice. That would be at least a week's worth. Would be nice. And then the last little nitpicky thing I have about the bad on this is that it would be nice to have that customization for watch face with the apps you want. Example, the weather app like I talked about earlier. It would be nice to have that... Uh, to have, uh, let me just get it here so it's easier to see and understand. I'd like to have a combination of this, but instead of, like, for example, the pedometer, put the weather app in there and also show the current uh, weather. That would be the ultimate uh, watch face for me. Um, mind you, if I could make it a little more nicer looking, it would be nice, not so simple. Um, but yeah, that's just one of the nitpicky things I'm, I'm picking at. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video. Please like and subscribe. JLM's out.